Hello, and welcome to my channel, Always Walt the Bird. Um, I know I promised you in the next video that you would see that Merfolk, Trickster, uh, Reclamation Sage, uh, um, Exclusion Mage, Mirror March, fun, bounce their whole deck video, but I made that. And it is a horrible, horrible deck, and I can't actually get any wins with it. So, unless I can change it up and we can do better, probably not going to see that deck. It looked really fun when I played against it. I did beat it, but as of right now, not a good deck. Can't play with it. Can't win. So, this week, though, we are going to play Mardu Divas. Um, it's actually a really fun deck to play with. I think the last game, I think it's going to be the last game you see, um... It just went off really, really well. Um, basically, it centers around Judith the Scourge Diva. Uh, other creatures get plus one, plus oh. Whenever a non-token creature you control dies, deals one damage to any target. Um, with Priest of Forgotten Gods, we can just keep attacking and then sacrifice creatures that do some pretty cool stuff. Um, one of the best things to... Uh, to sacrifice his gutter bones because we can keep bringing them back but there are other things like footlight fiend uh, ministrant of obligation they're fun as well to sack because they do things like afterlife 2 or with footlight fiend you can deal another damage um, we have ravenous chupacabras basically just a decent body to attack with but can also get rid of a problematic creature and on the real, real top end is... I mean, I know it only costs four, but... Um, Alendra, the Dark Rose. Uh, whenever another creature dies, you put a 1-1 one, one counter on her. And that's another creature, not just creatures you control. So, um, as, as they're sacrificing with Priest of Forgotten Gods, Alendra grows. And then when she dies, you could create X-1-1 one, one white vampire tokens with lifelink, where X is her power. Uh, in the last game, I think we made ten... Um, and then they conceded, which, well, makes sense. But <laughs> uh, Midnight Reaper, as we're sacking stuff, we get to draw a bunch of cards. Uh, we went over that one already. Uh, Militia Bugler, just a really fun card. 2-3, uh, decent body. Um, but more importantly, we can go searching for our Judith or Alundra or Priest or Dark, Dark Legion Zealot. Basically, it finds... Actually... Uh, yeah, it finds every creature in our deck, so. Pitiless Pontiff. Um, yeah, it's a 2-2 two, two for 2 that you can sacrifice another creature, so it's another sack outlet. Uh, and it gains Indestructible and Death Touch. Uh, one Legion Lieutenant. We do have enough vampires to play it. Uh, Reassembling Skeleton, just like Gutter Bones, we can keep sacking it and keeps coming back. Um, yeah, I'm going to put the deck list in the description below. I know it was kind of all over the place when I was explaining this deck, but, um, it's, yeah, it's a really fun deck. It's, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Not sovereign. Um. Hmm. Aristocrats. It is a very aristocratic deck, but I'm still calling it Mardu Divas, because the diva. So. Uh, let's get to the games, but before we get to the games, if you enjoy the videos, uh, hit the like button, hit subscribe, you hit the bell icon, you get notified every time we post a video, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, on YouTube. So, let's get to the videos. I mean, let's get to the games. Alrighty, let's play some Mardu Divas. Get a Judith the Scourge Diva out, and I'll well, just do some, some shenanigans. Alright, Ninja Boss. Alright, Ninja Boss, let's see what you got. Um. I guess we'll keep it. Well, that was the wrong land. I meant to play Sacred Foundry. Alright, uh, we have nothing for. Well, we do have something for two, actually. So let's. Pay two life. Pay another life. Feels like modern. All 
Alright, Incubation Druid. Um, let's Ulysha Bugler. See if we can't find something. Oh, Footlight Fiend. It is something. Uh, no attacks, no point. Alright, so this turn we can... Try another Bugler. See what happens. Opponent, thinking. Alright, plays a forest. Next turn, if they don't miss a land drop, they can... They can, um, adapt. Alright, so let's bugler. Alright, so we found the Judith. And let's gutter bones. We can now sort of attack? Okay. So this can become a 3-5. Which almost... Which nothing I have will actually get through. But next turn... Let's see. 3, 4, 5, 6. Hmm... Well, I can't do Ministrant. Alright, so they're just going to adapt it and leave themselves wide open. <sighs> Next time, at least leave it open as a blocker for... Well, I guess it would have been larger. Alright, well, regardless. Um, I guess Enter's tapped. We'll throw out a Judith. We'll throw out a Footlight. So... Um, Swing in for a bunch. I would have left it tapped. Um, sorry, not tapped. I would not have adapted that until end of my turn. Alright, I mean, they're going to gain some life. Uh, let's see what I get off of Mil I mean, Militia Bugler. Priest is good. Each Hmm. Yeah, so Priest is good. We can... Pay to life. Get this down. And I guess we just... Go all in? We'll save our Judith. Alright, so blocks... We have one death, and I guess we'll just throw it at you. Another Verdant Sun's Avatar. All right, I mean, they're not making it easy. All right, so Priest of Forgotten Gods, Gutter Bones, and let's all attack, but hold Judith back. Alright, so six attackers. Okay, so blocks. I'm assuming they block the... Yep. Alright, so they're gonna... Alright, and... Well, boop! And boop! Alright, well... I'm not gonna say that cost them the game... Because we did have an incredible run of great cards, but they should have nah, they should have blocked and then adapted, and they would have killed something. Let's see if we can not play against a gate deck and play some Mardu Divas. All right, man flow man. Mm. We're going to have to mulligan this one. Alright, better. Better, better. Let's see what they do. Let's 
Still waiting. Alright, we'll keep it. I like the third land. Alright, so pay two life. Throw out a foot lean footlight fiend. And pass the turn. Hmm. Isolated chapel come and tapped. Uh, this won't. I meant isolated chapel won't. Cliff top retreat will come and tap. Alright, so let's ping us for one, draw a card. Apparently we're playing Judith Tron. Lanawar Elves. Lanawar Elves. Legion Lieutenant. Um. Yeah, I guess we Judith. All attack. Alright, gets in for four. Cry will just get rid of everything, but... Oh, and they exile. Alright, so enters tapped. Judith. Merfolk Branch Walker. Get some land. I guess Pontiff Lieutenant. Um, no attacks. Midnight Reaper. Let's let's attack attack. I'm gonna guess they have Raska's contempt. Maybe not. Okay, so I lose that, but he dies. So I get to ping them for one and draw a card. All right, end turn. Merfolk Branch Walker Part 2 goes exploring and up oh, Jade Light Ranger. That's a pain in the butt. All right, my turn. All right, so let's let's attack. Okay. That dies. Ping him for one. Enters tapped. Uh, let's get the priest out. Uh, yeah. Oh, and scoops it up. All right. Well, I mean, that was a good game. Uh, it's probably a bit of an early scoop, but. Yeah, that priest next turn was going to do uh, things that make him uh, sacrifice things. Yep. Alright, let's see if we can play some Mardu Divas. Hopefully not against a, uh, a Gates deck. I got pretty wrecked for the Gates deck. Playing this deck, but... Let's see what Ace is playing. Ace Hicken. All right, well, I've got my three colors. Again, yeah, we'll keep it. We'll see what they do. It'll... Hmm, Orzov. All right, well, let's... We will pay the two life, and we'll play a Gutter Bones. So... All right, so this time we're going to... Enters tapped and play gutter bones. All right, so if I can find my priest of forgotten gods, this is actually a pretty dang good opening hand. Unless they exile stuff, but these work really well for 
sacrifice into the priest. All right. Um, let's not shock ourselves. Hmm. Do we want to look for a priest or do we want to... Let's just go a little bit aggro. See if they've got a removal spell and they do. So we get to deal one damage. All attack getting for another four. All right. That means no matter... W All right, so gonna mortify. Knowing that I can't bring it back just yet. Um, Alright, so let's... Bugler. Hmm. Yeah, we'll take a Judith. Enter's tapped. Get in for another two, get him down to eleven. Seraph of the Scales. Alright, so... Enters tapped. We don't get to play a Judith just yet, but... Chupacabra seems great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know it's got afterlife. Alright, so we'll get in. They'll block... What do we got, opponent? Alright. We got... Alright, so let's play the Judith. See if it sticks on the board. Let's zell it. Draw a card. All attack. Okay. Hits the gutter bones. No. Okay. Yep, that seems smarter. That way I don't get to deal the extra damage. But, unless the opponent's got something really good, I think we got it. Yep, scoops it up. Alright, well. That was a pretty aggro start, but, yeah. Good game. Alright, let's play some Mardu Angels and see what we can do. Been doing decent with this deck. Not the best deck, not the worst deck. Mickle. Uh, it does do horribly to burn, though. You can't get those priests to uh, stick. It's gonna be a. You're gonna have a bad time. Uh, enters tapped. Alright, so. Alright, mono. Am I playing mono blue tempo? I am. All right, well, let's see. Uh, let's do Priest. You can always blink it. No, I guess I'm playing Merfolk. Curious Obsession. I don't know. Merfolk or uh, like a blue tempo-y kind of... All right, so... Yeah, let's just do Judah. Judith. Get in for two. So, what what am I playing against? Is it Merfolk with Curious Obsession? They usually don't run Curious Obsession. That's why I'm a little bit confused. Okay. Still not sure. Draws a card. Growth Spiral. Hmm. River Sneak. It's a weird mono blue tempo deck. Alright, so Ravenous Chupacabra. We will get rid of that. Uh, next to combat. Uh, yeah, that's all attack. I'm not going to Priest yet, because I don't want to get rid of Judith. Let's 
uh, jungle born pioneer. I mean, I guess this is merfolk, but it's a a weird build. Yeah, mistbinder. All right, you're gonna get in for a bunch of damage. All right, so let's let's do this. Let's priest. Yes. Submit. Sacrifice, sacrifice. Submit. All right, so let's. Let's get rid of River Sneak. Afterlife 2, they sack a creature, we draw a card, and let's play a Lendra. And we're not going to attack. Alright, speaker, not the scariest thing in the world, another river sneak. I mean, whatever they decide to attack... Oh, they're not going to attack. Alright, so this is an even more mean way to do it. We will get rid of... Let's get rid of that. Grow a Lendra. Let's... Next two attackers. Let's get in for four. Let's do this, yes. So, target them. We're going to get rid of a Chupacabra and one of those. Judith will get rid of that. Alendra gets big. They have to sacrifice something. A lender gets bigger. Oh, nope. Let's draw a card. Uh, Godless Shrine tapped. And let's see what they do. My guess is we have a concede. Ooh, Vivian Reed. Okay. I've lost balance. Come. They're gonna look. Maybe they'll let us play it out. I mean, that would be fun to let us play it out. Uh, but usually... I mean, I guess... Okay. Alright, speaker. I guess... They're not immediately dead. So, let's just Blood Crypt tapped. Let's... Go to combat... Um, we'll go all towards them. So now that I'm, yeah, so three attackers. I'm not too worried about Vivian. Okay. Alendra gets nice and big. We're going to target them. Elendra gets huge. Now we're going to priest. Yes. Target them. Submit. Sack and sack. Okay. Target them again. And we get... Ten vampires. Yep. All right. So the opponent scoops it up. That's yeah. I mean, that's a great example of how this deck's supposed to work. You just attack and keep sacrificing your creatures. Well, if you enjoyed this deck and you enjoyed this video, um, hit that subscribe button. Throw a like. Uh, two free ways to just really help out the channel. If you hit the bell icon, you get notified every time we post a video. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. 
usually in the morning, sometimes in the afternoon. Uh, I'm getting much better on keeping a schedule, but we're getting there. Uh, if you have any um, ideas for a fun card to play, or maybe a fun deck to play, or maybe even just a deck that uh, you want to see played, but you don't necessarily have the cards to do it, and you just want to see if it's worth uh, giving in those uh, wild cards. So, yeah, like the video, subscribe, hit the thumbs up, and we'll see you in the next video.